Hi everyone, David Young of Pulmonary Rehab Associates in Stratford, Connecticut. Want to talk to you today about a very prevalent issue that we hear a lot of questions and concerns about, which is the correlation between pulmonary patients and pain. It's very, very um, much on the forefront of a lot of articles and a lot of complaints that people talk about that they have breathing problems and they're also having a tremendous amount of back pain, uh, neck pain, shoulder pain from their breathing. Um, not only am I a board certified respiratory therapist, but I'm also a certified posture therapist. And what that does is that uh, gives me the opportunity to help a lot of people who have chronic pain, a lot of people who have issues where their posture is not where it should be functionally, and we help restore that function. So the pain that you're feeling from having a pulmonary issue is very real. Remember this saying, no one knows your body better than you. So if you go to any medical person or non-medical person and you're talking to them and you're telling them, listen, I'm in a lot of pain. It hurts in my ribs. It hurts in my back. It hurts on my shoulder. It hurts on my neck. I think it's from my breathing. I'm not sure. Listen to that. No one knows your body better than you. Insist that they help you. Insist that they try to find out what's going on. I'm going to give you a couple things to check for yourself. Look in the mirror, have somebody look at you and see if your posture is potentially playing a small role or a big role in your pain. So posturally, your shoulders should be back like this. A lot of people, especially people with breathing problems, they have a hard time, they're bent over. When you're doing this, your shoulders are rounded out of position, your chest wall is being compressed and makes it harder for your lungs to expand, it makes it harder for your heart to expand, your whole thoracic cavity from here to here is being compressed. Also, your ribs are being compressed. So a lot of people spend a lot of time in this slouched over position they're working on the computer they're looking at their phones they're working on their tablets and the more and more short of breath they are they're coming down like this we have to change that so i'm going to give you a couple of exercises to do that you could do right now to try to restore the function back to your shoulders try to get your back to get back into alignment all through some corrective exercises okay so the very first one you're going to do you're going to sit up nice and straight if you can you're going to try to roll your hips forward towards the front of the seat and that's going to change the angle of your hips and relieve a little bit of the pressure on your low back if it's too hard to hold it there for a while just put a pillow behind you and it'll give you that little arch in your low back then you're going to take your hands you're going to put it palms up on your thighs and you're going to take your shoulders and you're going to lightly pinch them back and down together not up so we want to come back and release and back and release so you want to gently blow out and then breathe in and blow out and breathe in you'll feel all the muscles in your neck and your shoulders stretching it's a really good stretch to get the positioning back and the function restored to your shoulder joint okay try to do anywhere from six to twelve of those depending on how you feel if you're really rounded like this it's going to take a long time to get them back there keep practicing every time a commercial comes on television do a few of them so it's down we don't want to go up like this we want to go down and back okay so those are scapular squeezes the next one we're going to do is going to be something that has your arms at your side and we're going to do shoulder rolls so your arms are going to be down like this and you're going to roll your shoulders in a circle up and back and down and forward and up and back and down and forward if you start hearing some crackling in here it's okay uh, my ribs are actually cracking now too because i played tennis over the weekend so things are a little stiff so this is a good stretch we want to make sure that you're not rocking with your chest you're everything is stationary your hips are rolled forward and just the shoulders are going so you're going to go backwards you're going to try to do 10 or 20 of those then you're going to stop and you're going to relax and then you're going to come forward like this and then with the breathing you're going to breathe in you're going to blow nice and gently nice smooth circles remember it's all about quality not quantity don't do too many of them that it hurts don't do too many of really big big uh, motions where you're raising and lowering your chest just nice and relaxed and think of something very calming when you're doing it okay the last one we're going to do is a pectoral press so you're going to keep your arms like this and you're going to relax and you're going to blow 
come across and touch and then breathe in and right here is when you want to open up your chest hold it for a second and then blow again so it's blowing coming together and then breathing in only through the nose holding and then blowing and coming in if you notice if your shoulders are really rounded your arms will be like this and you'll come like this and your hands will touch but your elbows won't that's okay open them up right here and wherever your elbows can go you could stop right there just try to keep the distance between your wrists and your elbows the same and eventually you'll start to restore function to the joint and then eventually you'll be able to come here and that's where we want to be so it's good so the shoulders are back now and then see how you feel turn your head to the side turn your head to the side and notice that your range of motion is restored this will help loosen up your chest wall make it easier to breathe it also relieves some of the stress in your neck your upper back and then rolling your hips forward putting that pillow on the back if you need it that'll also take some of the stress off your low back okay i hope you found this helpful if you did please share with a friend and thank you so much for taking the time to watching this. We are really honored and privileged and grateful that you take the time out of your day to be able to get some information from us. Thank you so much. Any questions, you can put them um, down below in the comment section. And I only type one or two words a minute, but I will do my best to try to respond. And you could find us uh, facebook.com forward slash pulmonary rehab and on our website, pulmonaryrehab.com. Any questions or concerns, just let us know, okay? Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, and I wish you the very best in health. Thank you.